good morning and welcome to the maths class students so we'll be starting with the first chapter that is numbers okay so our first topic is numbers now first of all why do we need numbers and what are numbers so a number is nothing but it's a mathematical object which is used to count to measure and label things okay it's a mathematical object which you used to count or me measure something or label something okay then knowing numbers will help us in counting objects okay counting objects in large numbers and representing them through numerals so when you know numbers it will help you to count large number of objects and also it helps you to represent them through numerals numerals are nothing but one two three these are all the numerals then numbers also help you in communicating through suitable number names and to count concrete objects to suitable number names we have studied number names correct so when you know numbers it will help you to communicate using proper number names especially when the numbers are large enough and it also helps you to count objects as we have seen okay so what we'll be doing is we'll do a quick review or revision on what we know on numbers and then we will move to the next topic which uh, our main topic for today which is large numbers okay so the na uh, name of the first chapter is large numbers and this is a quick warm up or a quick review of what all you all have studied okay so when you come to the first uh, question here now here they have told study the data give uh, giving the flight distances in kilometers from new delhi to different cities across the world and answer the following questions so in this table over here they have given you a uh, few uh, cities okay and they are telling uh, that flight distances from new delhi to these cities okay so they have given you the distance in kilometers all right now so what you have to do is he will uh, read each and every question and answer them now which city is the nearest to new delhi all right now when you look at the table over here and see the distances now to find the city nearest to new delhi what we'll do is we'll find the number the smallest number we'll find the smallest number among this now when you see all the numbers the first one we have new york right so the distance from delhi to new york is 11765 then los angeles is 12870 now between new york and los angeles new york is smaller so you can ignore los angeles okay so we can ignore los angeles because it is greater than new york now coming to chicago now when you see chicago the distance is 12034 kilometers now again new york is smaller so again our answer is not chicago so you can ignore or uh, eliminate chicago okay then we have washington now washington the distance is 12050 7 now again 12057 is greater than 11065 so that also is not the answer then coming to paris paris has a distance of 6593 from new delhi so it is uh, smaller than new york okay and the last city which is melbourne melbourne is uh, 10214 right so between all these numbers 6593 is the smallest that is it uh, city which is has the smallest distance to new delhi from new delhi to that city is paris so the first answer which city is nearest to uh, new delhi is paris okay the answer is paris for this now coming to the next one question number b arrange the numbers in ascending order okay so to arrange the numbers in ascending order now here uh, as you see uh, ascending order means from smallest to biggest correct so we are arranging the numbers from the smallest number to the biggest number now we have seen that uh, 6593 is the smallest number here so first number will be 6593 then after 6593 the next smallest number is 11,000 uh, sorry not 11,000 it is 10,000 248 that is the distance from new delhi to melbourne then we have 11765 correct and then after that we have 12034 yes and then 
12,057 and last one is 12,870. So this is how you arrange the numbers in ascending order. So ascending order means from smallest to the largest. Ascending means climbing up. So you go from the lower level to the higher level. So small to big. Okay, so that was question number B. Now moving on to question number C. Now question C here they have told write the number name of the distance from New Delhi to Paris in meters in the international system. Okay, so they have told one kilometer is thousand meters. Okay, so what you have to do is they have given you the distance for uh, Paris, right? They have given us the distance in kilometers. But what they are telling here, they are telling us to write the number name in meters. So what we will do is, first we will convert this uh, kilometers to meters. Now they have given us a hint here that 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. So 6593 kilometers, to convert it into meters, we will multiply it with 1000. So when I multiply it with 1000, I get 6000 not 6000 sorry 6593 and then three zeros so how much is it so it will be 65 lakhs 93000 meters okay so let's write this number in uh, as in number name okay so that is uh, 65 lakhs 65 lakhs And 93,000. 65 lakhs. 93,000 meters. Okay. So it is 65 lakhs. 93,000 meters. Alright. So that was question number C. Now question D. Round off the distance to New York to the nearest tens and hundreds. Okay. So nearest ten New York. The distance to New York is 11,065. So when I round it off to nearest thousand, how will we round it off to nearest thousand is? When I say nearest, uh, okay, first we'll do nearest tens, then we'll do nearest hundreds. Now when I ha I have the number eleven thousand seven sixty five, correct? To round it off to the nearest tens, I will see the number to the right side of the tens place. So here the number to the right of tens place is five. Okay, now once you look to the number to the right, uh, you have to check if the number is uh, less than 5 or 5 and greater than 5. Since here the number towards the right of 10's place is 5, what we'll do? We will add 1 to 6. So when we add 1 to 6, it becomes 7. So it becomes 11,770. So you make the number towards the right as 0 after adding 1. So it becomes 11,770. Then now rounding it off to nearest hundreds now uh, since they have asked to round off to the nearest hundreds here you look towards the right of the hundreds place now hundreds place is seven and towards its right is six correct now since again six here is greater than uh, five you will add one to seven when we add one to seven it becomes eight and the rest other digits towards its right become zero so it is eleven thousand eight hundred all right then moving on to question number e use the digits in the distance to los angeles and form the largest and smallest five digit number okay the the distance to los angeles is 12870 right and the numbers uh, or the digits in that is 1 2 8 7 and 0 so the digits in that number are 1 2 8 7 and 0 so using these five digits, we need to form the smallest and the largest five digit number. Now first we will do the largest five digit number. Okay. So what is the largest five digit number here? It will be. Now how to find the largest number is. You will arrange these digits from in descending order. So that is from the greatest digit to the smallest digit. So the greatest digit here is 7, 8. And then we have 7. After that, we have 2, then 1 and 0. So, it is 87,210. Okay. And then coming to the smallest number. Smallest 5-digit number here. It will be 
how you will arrange them in ascending order that is from the smallest to the largest now here the smallest number is zero but you will not put the first digit as zero because when i put the first digit as zero and then arrange the numbers what happens is it becomes a four digit number so i'll put the next smallest digit that is one and then i can use zero okay so one zero then two seven and eight so that is ten thousand two hundred and seventy eight all right so the answer for e1 is 10278 and 87210 now coming uh, uh, moving on to the next question f1 using the digits in the distance to chicago and form the largest and smallest six digit numbers okay so they have told you can repeat any one digit for each since there are only five digits in the number they have told us you can repeat any uh, one digit okay all right uh, so what we'll do now is so the distance to chicago is 12034 so the digits are 1 2 0 3 and 4 right so to form this uh, smallest first we'll form the smallest six digit number to form the smallest six digit number what we'll do we will uh, first again as i told arrange the numbers in ascending order so we'll start with one we cannot start with zero here again because if i start with zero it will become a five digit number rather than a six the six digit number so i'll start with one and since i've told you can repeat any one digit will repeat the smallest digit so smallest digit here is zero so i'll repeat zero two times and then i have two three and four so here the smallest number is one lakh two hundred and thirty four and the largest number will be largest number here i can write as i can arrange them in ascending descending order so when I'm arranging in descending order, I'll repeat the greatest digit itself. So here it is four. So I'll repeat four two times. And then I have three, two, one, and zero. So I have four lakh forty-three thousand two hundred and ten as my answer. Okay, then F1. Using the digits in the distance to Chicago and form the largest and smallest uh, six digit number. Right, sorry, this answer should come below this answer should come below not over here okay that was the f question the answer which i showed you just now is the f1 okay and coming to the g question write the expanded form uh, of the distance to melbourne write the expanded form of the distance to melbourne the distance to melbourne is 10214 so when you expand this you expand it with the place values place value of one in the tower ten thousands places ten thousand so ten thousand plus since the thousands digit is zero you don't need to write it then we have two hundred plus ten plus four okay so that's the answer for g1 and coming on to the h question we have write the successor and the predecessor of the distance to washington okay what is the meaning of successor and predecessor over here is successor means the number after and predecessor means the number before now here the distance to washington is 12057 so to find the predecessor of that you have to write the number before 12057 so that is 12056 okay and the number itself is 12057 and the successor of 12057 will be the number after 12057 that is 12058 okay so this was a quick review on numbers in the next class we will see what are large numbers and how to write large numbers okay and we'll see the different place value for the large numbers in indian system of numeration and international system of numeration okay thank you students